I'm doing a voiceover and I'm laughing because I can hear myself talking and I kind of don't like it. Um, but yeah, I'm doing a watercolor paint with me. I'm painting a portrait and I haven't painted with watercolors in a very long time. So um, I was really happy with this painting. But the first thing that I'm doing is drawing it out digitally just so that I can get an idea of what I wanted. I went into this painting not knowing what I was doing, so I just kind of came up with it along the way, you know, besides the sketch that I had. Then I transferred it to my sketchbook and refined some of the details. Once my sketch is done, I will erase it a little bit just so that the pencil lines aren't super harsh. Um, but yeah, in this video I thought I would do a voiceover. I haven't done a voiceover for one of my painting videos. I usually just leave music because I never know what to talk about, um, but I thought I would try it. So once I've put the masking tape on, I use a colored pencil to go over the pencil lines, and I just do this because it ends up looking nicer than it would if you just painted over a pencil, so that's why I do that. And the colored pencils I'm using are by Prismacolor. And now for my watercolors that I haven't touched in forever. So the palette on the left is my very first one. It's very old. And then the one on the right is my newer one. I actually have a video of making this palette years ago, but the colors were running out, so I decided I would fill them up. And these are by Shin Han. They're super good watercolors, and I've been painting it with them for years. Since I had no idea what I was doing, I wanted to figure out what colors I wanted. And usually for watercolor paintings, I always go for like a maroon or a very dark blue color and then also add gold. Those are my favorite and I always end up using one of those colors in my paintings. Um, but yeah, so the first thing that I start out with is the skin tone. So I just lay down a base of that flat wash on the whole thing and then I let that dry completely. And once that is done, I will mix a darker shade and start to add the shadows. And this is something that I need to improve on. I'm also trying to figure out my art style. I really want to practice a lot more, which I haven't been doing lately because I also haven't been doing that much art. But I want to really get back into it traditionally and also digitally because I've been drawing a lot more on Procreate. But anyways. I know that having a set art style isn't the most important thing, but I really want to figure out what I like when it comes to creating art and what kind of look I'm trying to go for. When it comes to drawing or painting people and portraits, I really like a flat kind of look where there's little to no shading and shadows, um, or the shadows are very simplified. and my art, I feel like I'm kind of in between that, which just looks weird. Like I'm going for a flat look with no shadows, but also I have some shadows, so it just doesn't make sense. So that's what I'm trying to figure out and practice. And this is how I would normally paint what you're watching right now. And this is the way that I've painted portraits in the past. But I am experimenting with different styles and Drawing digitally has really helped with that, um, so if you want to see more things like that or digital drawings, then just let me know because I'm working on that kind of stuff. 
And also let me know if you like the voiceover, if you like to hear me talk over my paintings. Um, it's definitely a lot easier to just put music over the video, but let me know if you like this. When it comes to watercolor painting, I layer a lot. Um, so basically I'm just adding more shadows until I'm happy with it. And I do this for a while. And once that all dried, I added some texture or freckles to the skin. And right here I'm adding shadows to her shirt and since it's white I was just mixing those previous colors and using that as the shadows. And since this is just a painting in my sketchbook, I left the background just splotchy and kind of messy which is the look I was going for, so. And so far I was really, really liking the painting. And then this happened. It was fine though. Something like this always happens. And now I'm painting in the hair. I originally wanted her hair to be short, and I really did not like how that looked, so I just made it long. Also, with painting hair with watercolors, I always leave it very unfinished looking, which I do on purpose. I just like the hair to kind of flow and blend in with the background. And now I'm adding detail to the hair, just enough to kind of show the waves.
I did look at some photos of bubbles to try and figure out how to paint them, but then I ended up just kind of winging it as I was painting. So they might not look the best, but I think they turned out okay. So once I'm done using the watercolors, I add all the details. So the first thing I did was take some white and add some highlights. And then I'm also using this white on a different brush to add some more texture to the skin. And I don't like to paint perfect looking skin, so I always end up doing something like this. It just makes it a little bit more interesting. So we're almost done. Now I use colored pencils to add some details and really enhance the shadows. And I forgot to paint in her earrings, so I'm using some gold metallic watercolor to paint those in. And that is the finished painting!